Right now, Jim and I are up here and it's mid to late summer. It's the second week of August. So we've really got two layers, what we call it, in play. Now, if we were up here in the spring, you could pretty much write off any water that was deeper than about 10 or 12 feet. But late in the summer like this, we've got that water that's like 15 feet and shallower and that water that's like 15 to 30 feet. So you've kind of got to learn a couple different spots. And right now, the muskies, the smaller pike and the bass are in that 15 foot and shallower and these walleyes are out deeper. The nice thing about the fish that are deeper is they're a lot easier to find. If you master your electronics or just have good electronics, you can just drive and look at habitat that looks good. You can see in front of us here, classic Canadian spot. Big gull rock there, rocky reef out in front, shallow rock taper that dumps into the basin and right on the edge of that, once you know it, there's walleyes. And so with that deeper stuff, we don't really have to fish until we mark fish with our electronics. Now the shallower stuff, we'll go through and we'll look with our eyes and see what, what the habitat looks like. And then we actually have to fish it to see if there's fish there. But for this deeper walleye stuff, man, it's just slick. You drive around, you go, oh, there's some fish. You drop down, catch a few, move on to the next. More, see them on the depth finder oh, there. Oh, that on was cool. Sonar right here. Those are, what, that's a, those are the fish we drove over. You drop down, started vertically popping jigs on them, or jigging wraps, and instantaneously, you catch a couple. The thing is, the active ones, you get them right away. You know, you can be fishing through a lot of fish. You can be fishing through a lot of them, and we just fish for the ones that want to bite. You know, if you don't get bites right away, sometimes you pull up on these spots and they're not biting. We just keep on moving. But the thing is, you come back at a different time, a little weather change or something, the fish might be biting, and as soon as you pull, pull up, like, oh, like yeah, that them. guy. That's a fish. Got him? I do, yeah. There you go. Better one? Feels like it. You may have to get the net out. Yeah. I don't know if it's a pike or a walleye. Let's see, I think it's a big walleye. Oh yeah, big walleye, Jim. Wow. Nice. Whoa, wow. That's I saw a, a couple sitting fish. down there, yeah. That's a good one, Jer. Yeah, for sure. Wow, look at that. Absolutely. There we go, got him. There you go. Nice, sweet, that's a good fish. Let's just set him down for a sec here, Jimmy. That's what we're saying is these deep structures, what's so nice about it with your electronics, you can drive around really quickly to find the fish. Don't fish where there are none, yeah. you know? That's what I mean, you pull up on the spot, we pulled up on it in a minute, caught him and you can see there's a bunch more down here. Oh, look at that, huh? Awesome Canadian walleye. Man, that's the beauty about coming up here is there's so many quality fish just like that and like Jim said you know we've been just driving around spending a lot of time looking not fishing anywhere too long but more just what does it look like and looking at the layers what's the shallow stuff look like and then these walleyes now are out in that 15 to 25 boom jig and wrap get her back oh nice walleye see you, dude you know when we're initially trying to find fish like this what you have to do is also is the your fishing technique and actually what we're doing, we use a couple of different like search and destroy techniques, presentations, jigging wrap is one. It's really highly efficient to cover a lot of depth really quickly, a bottom bouncer rig. In some cases, crankbaits can be really highly effective if you're talking a little bit shallower water fishing situation. But the whole key is, is moving quick to first identify where fish are Got that one. Got him. Nice big one too. I'm gonna spot lock us here, Jim. Yeah, that's yep. a big. This is a big fish. Really big fish. Pike. No, it's a big walleye. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice. I had one right before that, and then you moved. Oh, in. that feels good. You moved in on my spot. Well, when the the fish are there, right? You got to take full advantage. And they're gonna tangle with me here. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just moving over to where I think the fish are. There just trying go. to get a double up here. Now I'm got to get the net again. Wow, that jig and wrap is so effective. I mean, in terms of really efficiency, and that's what you're always trying to do as a fisherman, right? You're trying to be as efficient as you possibly can. And for us, you know, we're, we're, we're just looking at a lot of stuff and getting musky gear out, getting trolling gear out, et cetera. With these deep water fish, a jigging wrap is just simply one of the most efficient tools. You don't need to have 
a lot of stuff out. You each have one rod out. We drive around that deep stuff. Oh, there's one. You just quick throw it out, yeah. and the fish are going to let you know right away if they're there. It's pretty yeah. awesome. And I think this is a really huge walleye. Huge, huge, wow, huge one. Like the size of this, this thing is this enormous. Is big, big, holy mackerel. This That's is just giant. huge. Wow. That net is too small. I got a yep. bigger one up here. Do you? What? Yeah. what? Yeah, I got a bigger net right here for you, buddy. I can get a bigger net. No, it'll, it'll flop out. No, you, yeah. Okay, well, look at that. We're going. To, we're, out, we're out to three nets. <laughs> that fish is huge. This is a really a big fish. Net, a big net, and then the magnum walleye. The King net. Kong net. I'm really pretty impressed about the Manitak Waldos. Based on what we've been seeing, that, that is a giant holy, holy cow! Holy wow, and it just popped off. Look at the size of that. Wow, thing. is this thing that huge? Is a, oh, that is a monstrous fish. Look at the oh. size. I'm serious. We got to get a still camera. That, this that thing fish is, is huge. huge. This I is, mean, that I is. I'm like not kidding. Years. I've seen big walleyes. This, this is, is a freaking wow. giant. Yeah, this is one. This is maybe one of my biggest walleyes I'm, ever, I'm if not serious, my biggest. Jared. This might that, be my biggest walleye that I've ever caught. I'm not it, kidding. It really is. That wow. is huge. That is a huge walleye. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. It's heavy. Big, heavy, giant. How do you like that? Never been to the lake before. Drive around, look at some different layers of habitat. Like our second spot. Catch this. I'd say, I'd say Northwest Ontario and Manitowoc Lodge is a good place to fish for walleye. That fish is probably like close to 12 pounds.